Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Podcast Pals. This is episode 20 billion, I think. I think it's Seven. just number four. Oh, we all got it this wrong. This is not episode no four. No one's right. Whoa. No. Um, Five? And Well, c- considering the episodes that we lost, we're probably it's up at like six. It's episode E3! Or... Epi- yes, episode E3. That's that's the video title. Wow. And Are you going to give him credit? Oh, heck no. No. Um, and we will be talking about predictions for Nintendo Z3. This is something that no other podcast is doing this time of year. Nope, absolutely No other podcast nobody. exists. No, we're the only podcast. All. We invented the term podcast. We're the pioneers of podcasting. So, that being said, I'm going to start with Abe because his name starts with the letter A. Abe, what is one prediction you have for tomorrow's presentation? Now, how vague are we going like with predictions? Because like you can we know be for a fact vague that or Smash... really specific. Yeah, we please don't try Smash. to predict Smash. Hey, okay, okay. We know Smash is going to be there, so if you're going to talk about Smash, say something specific, you know. Okay. Well, I was I was trying to think of how many characters I think will be revealed tomorrow. Okay, make a guess. Because, well, here's what my initial thoughts are, but I doubt they. I think they confirmed already that the whole like roster is not going to be shown. So I think it's going to be like the original, however many that were in melee, including Inkling. And I'm hoping that they like tease a few new characters and then have some more characters revealed in the direct. I don't know. I'm just really scared because Smash has become like their secret weapon of sorts like they have us all wrapped around their fingers and they can do whatever and we'll all be like licking their ass afterwards That's so fair i'm so I, okay my prediction is that four four new characters get revealed that's what i'm that's what i'm predicting and then reveals will go on later throughout the year until the game releases okay yeah i think four is a decent number a little big I, I think that's a... I would say a little less. Though 4 would be nice. It depends how much time they spend on Smash. Uh, the thing about Nintendo is that E3 for them is a week-long thing. So they do reveals at the their little treehouse thing. So they could, you know, two days after their presentation be like, Hey, we have one more surprise for you. And then reveal a character. We never know. But... I, I think... <laughs> yeah, I think two to four characters is a, is a relatively realistic number. What do you think, Nova? Uh, I've, I'm not really sure. I never really put too much thought into what might happen with Smash because while I do like Smash a lot, it's just like I honestly don't care what happens with reveals for Smash. Like Whatever gets revealed gets revealed. And everybody will be hyped for it, no matter what. It'd be the fucking Kool-Aid man gets revealed for Smash Brothers, and... Hey, I would be hyped. <laughs> I would be so would be hyped like, for that. Holy shit! Oh, yeah! Like, like he smashed... Oh, the ball, yeah! That'd be cool. But, uh, I'm gonna go with, like, a big stretch. Like, you know how... You know how they... They announced, uh... The Tales of Vesperia, uh, complete edition or definitive edition, um, and that yeah. it's also being released for the Switch. I'm going to take a big stretch and say that Yuri Lowell will be playable in Smash. Okay, is that an actual prediction or is that more of a? That's that's like, that's like a crack or is prediction. That a want? Okay, and I mean... stemming from that, my other crack prediction is that. Not only would they give more information about Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, but also po- maybe possibly having a port of Tales of Symphonia HD that I'm kind of kind of hoping for because I love Tales of Symphonia and having another copy would be amazing. <laughs> I've heard of those games. I haven't actually played them. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. But uh, I think for an out there prediction, I feel like okay, so. Kingdom Hearts 3 is 
is really big. Mm-hmm. And I haven't played too many of the game. I've literally only played the DS games. And that was when I was like in like second grade, so I hardly remember them. But I do feel like if they're going to put it on Switch, then they're going to do Sora and Smash. That's that's what I feel. I, I feel like they would go all the way. I highly no. doubt Kingdom Hearts 3 will be on Switch. But yeah. Oh, I know. I know. No, they, I doubt it, too. But, but if, if they for did. whatever reason, they do port Kingdom Hearts 3 on Switch, they better port uh, 1.5 HD, 2.5 HD, and, and 2.8 HD on Switch as well. I would, I think if they did three on Switch, they would delay the Switch version. Most likely. Which I, I mean, I would be okay with. That way, you'd be able to play the uh, one point five, two point five, and two point eight versions, so you could get the whole story before you play Kingdom Hearts three and be lost. Well, I mean, even if you do play through all the whole stories, which I'm in the process of, it's not like there's much to understand because it's. It's a little all over the place. I don't know. Yeah, at least play at least play through birth by all the way through birth by sleep, because that'll give some context for Aqua. Yeah, I just I finished birth by sleep this year. Aqua's the best girl, but that's unrelated to E three prediction, so it's not the waddle. No, it's not. Did you not see the Kingdom Hearts shit yesterday? Unrelated to Nintendo's E three. Unfortunately, it is unrelated. Right. We'll do a follow-up episode after E3 is over, and you guys can just talk about Kingdom Hearts waifus. <laughs> uh, okay, here's one. What do you guys think about Animal Crossing? It's not coming. Uh, yeah, it, I don't think I, it's I don't coming. Think so it's not going to be announced at this E3. I because... feel like... No, go ahead. Okay, so the way this E3 is working, it's just like... They, if they announce something, like, okay, I hate to go back to Smash, but, like, we need to, like, accept the fact that that's what's going to be talked about the most, no matter what happens. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I mean, let, like, don't lie to yourself or to the, anyone listening. It's it's true. And so I feel like they're not going to go too crazy with, like, first big first-party announcements just because they'll probably get overshadowed by whatever is announced by Smash. That's why I don't think Animal Crossing is going to come to E3 this year. But I do think it's going to have, like, a dedicated direct to it later in the year. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, they... I, could, I could see them doing an Animal Crossing direct mm-hmm. to reveal that. Like, I know they did it, like... They did it before when they announced the, the new thing for New Leaf and the... Uh... Happy Home Designer. And I think they announced Amiibo Festival there as well, but we don't talk about Amiibo No, Festival. I mean, I specifically <laughs> remember the Amiibo Festival announcement. I was I was watching it live with my friend who likes Animal Crossing. He was so excited and then so disappointed. It was awesome. Let's get Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival Switch version, please. Come on, let's get it. 60 frames a second, please. Uh, Abe, you mentioned that you think Smash is going to be the main thing. And while I think it's going to have a huge highlight, especially with the tournament they're doing, I don't think it's going to be all the focus. Because every year when Nintendo goes to E3, they say, hey, we're going to have our presentation, and it's going to be this game and a bunch of others. Like, they they always, last year, it was, hey, E3 is going to have Mario Odyssey and some others. The year before that, I think it was Zelda. So they always do that, but they never spend too much time on one game. Right. They always they always have other announcements. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, they have another announcements, but I'm just saying that those announcements are gonna get overshadowed in terms of like popularity from Smash. What I definitely like to see, like absolutely, is just more information on Metroid Prime Four. Like at least, not just. At least maybe a gameplay or maybe just like, you know, some extra just trailer footage. Whatever it is, just like anything more than just the logo. I'd like to see because I love Metroid Prime. It's amazing. I I could see them bringing it, but I could also see them not bringing it. Yeah. Just because if it's not ready, 
than instead of rushing out a trailer. I, I, I don't think... If they do do anything, I don't think it'll be gameplay. I think it'll just be a teaser. Yeah, even if it is just a teaser trailer with just some like cinematic shots and stuff, that'd still be nice to see. Which would be nice. Here's the issue with making predictions for this Nintendo's E3. Like, for some reason this year, they decided, like, not to care about, like, like, when we, remember that Direct where Smash was announced and the Octo expansion was announced? And, like, you remember that Direct, right? Yep. Yes, I was okay. watching it during band practice. They, like, if they went and they just showed that Direct as their, like, E3 conference, it would have been, like, perfectly fine because, like, of how much hype it contained. And I'm so scared because they're announcing all these huge things. Like, they announced Pokemon. They announced uh, Let's Go. They announced Gen 8. They announced Smash. They announced Octo Expansion. They're announcing all these huge things before E3. So if they think that they can announce that before E3 and then still go and do a good job at E3, I'm, like, really terrified to see what they're going to bring because they've raised the bar so high this year. Watch them bring the end of the world. They're just like, like, oh, yeah, all this shit happens. We're, we're releasing all this stuff, and then suddenly the world ends, and like, oh, it's Nintendo's fault. Well, the thing about Nintendo is that... Okay, well, let me back up. The thing about other companies, like Microsoft and Sony, is that E3 is really one of their only, like, presentations. The only time they actually slew out a bunch of games. That's why, like, the Microsoft presentation was two hours long, and it had 50 games. Nintendo, on the other hand, gives... A whole bunch of presentations throughout the year and it they're smaller but they're all each one of them has a game or two that's big so okay. e3 for them is just another nintendo direct i don't know if that makes sense but yeah that absolutely makes sense but i'm sure it's a bit more important just because of the oh well yeah like, of course it's it's because of the marketing yeah so i definitely think we're probably going to get more Possibly more info on that uh, that one game. What what's it called? The one that actually has Star Fox in it. That was just like announced today. Uh, what was it? I I saw a picture of it. What what was that from Ubisoft? I I think it was from the Ubisoft one. Pretty sure. Okay, so it's another Mario and Rabbids. Yeah, Starlink. In concept. Starlink Battle Battle for Atlas, and it has like three generic looking people, and then fucking Star Fox, and it's like, what? <laughs> Throw in Captain Falcon, and then we can have this whole expanded multiverse. Because we know that that Fox McCloud's dad was in an F Zero game. Okay, actually, speaking of Star Fox, um, I don't know, and you guys know I hate leaks, but this one has been all over Twitter. Uh, there is supposedly the new, I think, rare game is going to be a Star Fox racing game. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think? I don't believe it. I mean, Twitter leaks. Uh, Twitter is also the same website that's like, Mother 3 is going to be at this direct. So, and also like, the same website that said, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. We're real. I got everything down to a T. Hey, shut up. That was, that was probably like 4chan or something. I don't know. Twitter, Twitter does, people on Twitter aren't talented. And I know this because I'm on Twitter. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Star Fox Racing game. I. Uh, it supposedly has the same mechanics as an F Zero game. Why though? Like, what's the point? Can't we just play Mario Kart? Can't we just get F Zero? Like, no, that'd be too easy. That that's so dumb. I don't want to believe it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be... No. Okay, wait. Just for, like, the sake of my sanity, is there any hope for Mother 3? Or... Um, considering they... Cross your fingers, but we haven't really got... Considering they've memed about it, I don't think so. And we haven't really got, like, much, like, Nintendo Virtual Console games on the Switch either. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that just that just sprung a thought in my head. Maybe they'll announce like 
actual more uh, virtual console games like from just for the Switch, like like uh, you know maybe SNES games and GBA games. Maybe they'll announce that, and it could be alongside Mother Three as well. But I don't know. It seems more as much like as a I want that. I feel like that's not something they would do at E3. I don't get me wrong. It's I feel like that's something that's coming in some shape or form. But I don't think that's an E3 thing. They'll definitely Just, probably announce more features about their online, paid online service. Well, because the the thing that is different about E3, because I know they just said they don't treat it differently, but the one thing that is different, especially in Nintendo's eyes, is they're not talking just to Nintendo fans here. When they say tune into a Nintendo Direct, you know, they can put in all these funny jokes for Nintendo fans and all this quirky stuff, but E3 is for more so the general audiences. You know, you have all these Microsoft and Sony fans and watching also, Nintendo like, just to see their presentation. And also other like and investors. journalists and stuff. Exactly. Like that's what that's what the it's a press conference. You're they're talking to the press. Yeah. So I'm not sure they would announce that Mother Three at something for that because you have to remember, you know, some random IGN game journalist does not care about Mother Three. They probably don't know what Mother is. That's that's true. Oh, is it that yeah. character from Smash Brothers that I never play as because I only play as Mario because that's the only one I recognize. Yeah, <laughs> that's IGN. <laughs> don't do Lucas Thirty. I think. Um, do you think that like? Netflix and YouTube and stuff. Do you think that is a possibility that that is announced? Again, like, I think stuff that's on coming. Switch. But I don't think that's an E3 thing. Yeah. What well, makes actually, something an E3 is... thing? Mm, that's a fair point. Um, I don't know because I feel like j just imagine if they have this big old presentation. It's all these. Not all of them are big announcements. You know, you have your sushi strikers in there. But all of a sudden, they're just like Netflix. Is anybody going to say Nintendo won E3 because Netflix? I'm just saying it would be nice. Oh, it would. It would be very nice if they just put that. Remember, Hulu came to the Switch and there was no direct announcement about it. Yeah, it just appeared. There was no build up. It was just like, hey, Hulu's on the Switch. That's how I think Netflix and YouTube are coming. Just give me the well, crunchy then, roll app for the Switch. Come on. With that logic, it would have to be like things to capture the audience, the attention of multiple audiences. It would have to be, once again, something huge and something that people can recognize. Well, it's got to be video games. Hey, right, well, I don't think anyone listening is stupid. I'm not stupid. Nova isn't stupid. We realize that, Donovan. But thanks Why didn't for you reminding say I wasn't us. Stupid? Wait, why didn't you say I wasn't stupid? Don't worry about it. Moving on. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then I'm expecting, You're like, stupid. things that people can... Well, with that logic, people... Things that... Games that people can recognize. That, like, people realize are big, which is why Yoshi's I think Smash... Islands. Oh, speaking of Yoshi, we got, a Yoshi, we got, like, a Yoshi announcement last E3, and then they didn't talk about it for... They literally have not mentioned it. Since last Once movie. we got one trailer, so hopefully they show a little bit more of that because I love Yoshi games. Um, this one looks pretty. It, yeah, it's it's using a totally new graphics engine. Um, I think it's like Yoshi Story HD. I think that if that's coming out this year, it's gonna be like a a fall, late summer release. I think that game is just one that's been in development for a while and. It's it's about ready, and it will be excellent. It will be excellent. And uh, what else? There's speculation that not even speculation, just like overhyped people saying that Gen Eight has a possibility of being talked about. No, nope. I, I don't think absolutely at all. Absolutely not. Nope. I think maybe. Maybe they nope. talk about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'd like, but yes. not I'd like about Gen Eight. I'd like to see more information if about that rumored uh, normal type evolution for Eevee. 
Like, that would be interesting if they actually showed that up. No, I feel like that would be saved for Pokemon Direct. Pro- because, it like, probably no would one... be, but yeah. that'd be cool if they just showed That's it. how they did uh, Sylvia. They something like no, that. Direct. I, th- I think they're going to, um... I think they're going to show off Let's Go at, like, the they... treehouse. And maybe mention it in the presentation. They might they might give a little bit more information about it too, like maybe like maybe showing off a little bit more about the how it actually connects to Pokemon Go. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year's presentation was twenty minutes. And a lot of people say Nintendo won E three. Everyone says every company wins E three. Depends who you ask. This year's presentation is forty five minutes. Oh. So while that means potentially twice as much good stuff we might get as about twice as much crap you know it's just hopefully they just like rush the bad games uh, like I just think shove I them think all the... in okay. five minutes and then leave it in the beginning and then want me to it's fine. Me throw in another crack prediction do it hyperdimension neptunia for the switch what is that it's like it's this uh hyperdimension it's this uh rpg series like JRPG series that breaks the fourth wall a shitload. Ooh, I like these waifus. Yeah, and it's pretty much all the character, all the playable characters are girls. Ooh, oh, 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 that's lewd. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, hey, that's like the the boss from um Super Mario Galaxy, the red guy, the little octopus guy. Um, Tentacles. No, you know the the like the octopus guy who like spits fireballs at you, and then sometimes he spits yeah watermelons, and you gotta like spin. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I can't really. Recall okay, I'm gonna now. clear my browsing history. Okay. Uh, do you think that any DLC for like older games is gonna be announced? Odyssey DLC. That's what I, that's not, what I was hinting there's, at. There's not gonna be Odyssey DLC. Please. Why not? There won't. There just won't Please. be. Nope. I don't I see want why it. they wouldn't do Odyssey DLC. Because we've already got a ton of the skin DLCs. It's clear that they're probably not going to have any other kind of DLC to go along with the game. What if they're keeping people interested in the game so that they can really stage DLC? It's not gonna happen. Just like I Animal Crossing. I am a firm it's believer. I want happen. Rosalina's Comet Observatory as a kingdom. That, that's what I was thinking. I feel like they would add a new kingdom as DLC, or add a few new kingdoms. It's probably nothing, not going to happen. But If they do, nothing, it better be fucking Isle Delfino. Everyone wants Isle Delfino. I want Rosalina's Comet Observatory. But there's oh. no point for the Rosalina thing. Can you just imagine if like they took that hub world, but then like, actually added stuff for you to do? Like That would be so cool. They'd have to, like, that's, like, a really, really big stretch, honestly. They did it with the Mushroom Kingdom from Mario 64, which was just, a, you know, originally was just a castle and an outside area. Uh... They could add some, like, like, some space rocks or something, and you could just, like, jump to them, or, like, that'd be so cool. It'd be like a Mario game if you went to space. But isn't that what Galaxy is? Isn't that hey, what yes, Odyssey it is. already they should... is because they're on the fucking moon? That's uh, Spoilers moon. for Super Mario Odyssey if you have not finished it in June of 2018. Dude, nobody cares about the level spoilers, especially at months after its release. Someone told me what one of the kingdoms was in Mario Odyssey, and I actually cried because it was before I played the game. Like... <laughs> Someone it's not cares. that deep. You though. ruin like, the game for somebody. It's really not that deep. Like, it's just the world. Anyways, we're going far off topic. Is there anything else anybody had? Like, Fire Emblem. Ooh. Oh, yes. Uh, Fire Emblem, please. HD waifus. Mm. If, is it going to be a remake or is it going to be I a really new hope, game? I really hope. I assume that a new game. The new game. If it is a new game, I really hope that they don't put a major focus on the dating thing from Fates and Awakening, because 
Ooh, just... you and I are gonna have words, eh. Nova. Hold on. Let me take a seat. Let me talk you through this. Now, I, for one, really enjoyed the dating in children just because I think the most fun I got in that game was making broken child units and I would spend hours just grinding and making the most overpowered child units and like supports don't really like at the end of the day they're completely optional and getting the children are completely optional I think it's just a nice touch because like there's people like me who are obsessed with just making okay, the most overpowered but if they do it, it better be, like, actually implemented in the plot rather than just shoehorned in like they did with Fates. Because Fates, it was just kind of there, and it's like, what? Like, they they just threw it in there because Awakening had it. They're just kind of going off of a... They're just... Yeah, they're just going yeah, off on that. I mean, I, I get what you mean. I'm very excited for Fire Emblem 16. I really hope... I think we'd get like a trailer at most about Fire Emblem 16. I've never played a Fire Emblem game. Except That's for false. Echoes. You played Echoes. I just said except for Echoes. Don't interrupt me. I, th I just wanted to make sure you're not lying to all I haven't finished 30 of it our yet. listeners. You mean 27. Oh, I rounded up. I, ha I haven't finished it yet. Celica is the best girl. It's really That's hard. True. It's not that hard. It's not that Um, like do you think? Do you think we're gonna get any HD Wii U ports announced? I'm sure there will be one. Oh, Animal Mario Maker. Crossing Amiibo Festival. No, please, Mario Maker. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mario Maker's on DS though, like 3DS. Yeah, oh, that didn't sorry. stop them with Hyrule Warriors. Ew, please. If they remake Hyrule Warriors again, I think I'm gonna they did. boycott Nintendo. Oh no, they I did. Mean, it came out like. Yeah, no, if they make it again, after this one. Again, again. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, you, you know it's on Switch, right? Yes, I do. There's Hyrule oh, Warriors, you... and then there's Hyrule Warriors DS, and then there's Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. No, we don't no need... Hyrule Warriors for DS is called Hyrule Warriors Legends. No one cares. They're all the same game. How I they make care it again? because it's a different title! They did make it again, Abe. It's called Fire Emblem Warriors. No, but Fire Emblem Warriors is... Not that Fire, bad. Like, Fire Emblem Warriors it, actually, like, uh, they, like, recreated, like, actual formula to, like, coincide with actual Fire Emblem gameplay. And yeah. That was cool because, like, it was You know what they should do? A bit more strategic. Super Mario Warriors. You okay. know what? That, Honestly, at this point, Going I wouldn't be surprised. <gasps> Whoa. Hold on. Crack, hold on. crack prediction. Super Smash Brothers Battle Royale. I was literally just about to say that. I was like, there's going to be Smash a... Smash Brothers. Nintendo... You just put on 8-player Smash. Wait, is there going to be a Battle Royale game announced by Nintendo? Oh, Fortnite. Duh. No. Oh, Fortnite. yeah. Fortnite it, Fortnite no. is pretty much confirmed because no. of leaks. I'm sorry. It, it is. There well... Be so is Paladin. Why are we dropping? Paladin already came out. Yeah, it came out? No, it didn't. I, it didn't? Oh. See, at least Paladin uh, is good. Do you know what I don't Nova, understand? why don't you like Fortnite? What the I love Fortnite. Oh, okay. Uh, what I don't understand is that people are really upset that Fortnite's coming to Switch, and, like, it's a free game. You don't have to download it, and it widens the demographic of who the Switch is going to be sold to. Well, like, if it's in... free, then I do have to download it. That's not true. Because it's free, so I no. have to. No, no. Because there's not a paywall stopping me, so I don't have to get my mommy's credit card. Uh, well, yeah, you can get it without consent, but you don't have to. See, can I, I use your mommy's like... credit card? Don't touch my mommy's credit card. See, I just want, like, a Battle Royale game that's actually character-based, where, like, instead of just, you know, just random loot drops and stuff, you actually, like, select a different character that has, like, slight... That has like different abilities, maybe like slightly better or and slightly worse at the same time. You know, you're describing like Smash. Balance. You're describing yeah, Smash. Yeah, I know exactly. Like that's you want what I kind a of battle mean. royale mode for Smash. Well, not exactly, but I mean, like even, even like taking like an oh, like if it was like an Overwatch battle royale into, 
like it those integrated that would be okay, okay. with me because like it's still character based like oh. actual character based stuff so we get a super mario brothers battle royale right you get a choice yep. between the mario brothers peach rosalina bowser and a couple others that's your characters you could drop you skydive onto a map and it's the mushroom kingdom but it's like all these levels from all of mario's history right that would be such a good game is that it's that's a crack prediction. it is no it that is, is a crack dream is, prediction it is crack as hell that is a dream it's a no wait we're only talking we're only talking about games do you think nintendo's gonna announce any like hardware things uh, probably uh, not. I Unless it was like some crazy so. add-on, Maybe like more new Joy Cons. Maybe just new more Amiibos. That's it. I think they're kind of done-ish with Amiibo. They haven't announced wireless, one in a while. Wireless GameCube controller. No, people wouldn't like that because the only people who use them are Smash players, and they're really finicky because they're like, "Oh, my controller has to be wired," because of the. Point zero zero one input delay. That's I hate, you're I calling hate me melee out. players. I hate the Smash Brothers competitive community so much. I am a Smash Brothers com- competitive community person. I so know you hate me, and you Going and your entire community are again. terrible people. Going off I hate topic. all of them. No, this isn't off topic because it has to do with wireless GameCube controllers and how we're not getting them because then Smash players would just whine. Matthew, if you're watching this, I hate you. Damn. Matthew, I don't hate you. Slide in my, my Twitter's in the description. Slide in my DMs and I'll, we'll talk this through. I'm not putting okay. his Twitter in the description of this episode. Abe will I'll send you his nudes. Okay. What else? Um, Amiibo, I don't think... They, I agree with you. They're not going to announce Amiibo. Amiibo, like, they made however much money they made off of it. The hype died down. Oh Our no! Problem well, is okay. Yeah. If they do something with Amiibo, then it's going to be the Amiibo game. You know, like an equivalent to Skylanders. Ew. That's that's I know I know that sounds bad. <laughs> but 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 here's the thing: Skylanders were bad because you could only use them in Skylanders games. Well, Imagine you if you could use the. You could use the Donkey Kong and Bowser Skylanders as Amiibo. Why do you know that? Because it was literally announced when those things were announced. Like... Do you know what I want? And this is like, it's not... It's more of a wish than a prediction. But I really want Wii Sports on Switch. Just be... One, two, Switch? No, no. One two switch and Wii Sports are on two different levels. Wii Sports, Wii Sports and... is way better. Yeah. Like if we can get a Wii Sports Resort HD remake, I, I would, would be pay down, full but be price hard. for that. Like, you you do realize how hard that would be though. That that's not a prediction. That's a. Why would it be called Wii Sports if it's on the Switch? <laughs> Shut up. It would still sell. It, you know, that's for a fact. Us Nintendo fans were notorious for <laughs> buying ports for full price. Okay, I think we're running out of ideas. We Does are. Does anyone have any last-minute predictions? Um, please follow me on Twitter. No, I'm not putting your Twitter. Please. Nobody knows your Twitter because it's it's not in the description. So. Check the Nobody videos knows. before this one. My Twitter is in that description. Okay, that self promotion's not allowed. One, one more last, probably, probably crack, but like a weird, strange, hopeful thing in the back of my mind: a new Paper Mario game with, uh, like, traditional, with like the traditional Paper Mario battle system, with like, like from the N sixty four one and Thousand Year Door. I'll give you a realistic prediction: a new Paper Mario game that plays just like Sticker Star and Color Splash. Please no. <laughs> I just want, like, the silliness from everything oh, else. Mario Party. That might be announced. Right? <gasps> oh my god, yes! Whoa, wait, wait, If they make a Mario Party, but it's, like, a, the old games, I would be so excited. 
and it was like if it was online somehow, I would be really, really happy. I feel like we fans and Nintendo fans have been pretty vocal about how much we hate Mario Party now, the new way. So hopefully they fix that. Well, usually there's like one or two on every console, right? Not one or two, like three or four. Notice how with the Wii U there was one Mario Party. Because the Wii U died, like immediately. Well, yes, but also because the Mario Party Nine and Ten got so much backlash. Poor Wii U. Dude, the Wii U was such a good console. It just sucked. Okay, let's not start lying. The Wii okay. U was a. That's the a Wii topic was... for another the day. The Switch, the Switch is what the Wii U should have been. And that's. Yep that on that nova why don't you plug your stuff we're gonna wrap up all right (laughs) do you have anything (laughs) what any plug your 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 promote your plug my shit plug yeah oh did you think i meant like plug your mouth like i didn't know what you meant by plug (laughs) (laughs) he's just on silent (laughs) I am Supernova 4.0. You can find me probably in the description if Donovan puts the shit there. Of course I, have I would. A YouTube Why would I not include anyone? A, okay, I have a YouTube channel with a uh, currently struggling uh, abridged series because, um, well, you because uh, well, it just got a copyright claim and it's been claimed for like three weeks now. And no response. I did dispute it. No response. So, eh. There's yeah, nothing else going on that. on that channel right now except me dying. But maybe okay. in the future. I have a and Twitter. No, you don't. I'm, my Follow name is me. Donovan. I am the owner of the Poker Pals Discord server. You can join it, and it'll be the first link in the description. It's a gaming and anime server. If you want to talk with any of us directly, we are all members of it, so just hit us up there. And talk to us any uh, Nintendo directly. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Uh, that was a bad um, joke. I don't. My know Twitter is at... Still a piece of garbage. No, it's Please not. follow I'm, I'm me. Sen- I am censoring that out. <laughs> Please I can't believe me. you just did that. You just promoted yourself in my podcast. Do you think you can just walk into my podcast Please and promote yourself like that? Please follow me on Twitter. I only have 97 followers. I need to get all more you, than Donovan. Yeah. I need to all get you more do than is Donovan. just like my tweets. That's, you will not that's... have more than me. Please. If you're a real one, follow me on Twitter. No. If you're a real one, follow me. But you already are because you've checked my Twitter. If you even found this channel then you probably followed all of us. Yeah, because we're that awesome. Is this our goodbye? Yeah, well, usually Nova screams, like, goodbye oh. whenever he's on an episode. So I'm waiting. I'm, 